Hello there, and welcome back to the Spike Zenotic January Duel Cup. We've got the second game, Grunt vs. Wolf Snipe. Wolf Snipe POV, we're on Fuse. Very good map. Spike made map, the host of this wonderful tournament we're commentating, watching, spectating, and just generally enjoying. Wolf Snipe, we're going to start off with some nice little, nice bit of shooting over, getting some good rockets through there. This map, uh, the good weapons are all very far apart, so most of the time you're going to see someone get one type of weapon and someone get another. And that was a beautiful first frag from Wolf Snipe, managing to pull out the uh, pull out the curved rocket right underneath and get Grunt. Oh, it's beautiful, the air shots. Wolf Snipe's control of rockets in the air and ability to predict movement while people are in the air is impeccable. It's one of his best parts. But Grunt going to be able to take him out with the Electro. Spamming down, he took a lot of damage and was kind of too close to go through. That was me forgetting to plug my laptop in. Thanks for your warning of 30 seconds left. We're now plugged in. Wolf Snipe picks up another one. Picks up the Mega. Grunt now a bit on the back foot. Gonna be rushing in a little bit there, but didn't, again, didn't really have the choice to be able to pull out of it. But that's a beautiful shot from Grunt. Both players making very good shots. Grunt able to get a lot of damage dealt there. And Wolf Snipe able to pick up another one. But Grunt's keeping Wolf Snipe honest at the very least, so a comeback is definitely on. It's not like Wolf Snipe's running away with this. And there he is. He's gone down. There's not a lot of health and armor on this map, but it is because of that. It's sometimes possible to run away with it a little bit. Because if you can get all of the health and armor, your opponent has none, and you're just going to stack up frags and frags and frags. Grunt managing to keep it a little bit level pegging. I think uh, Wolf Snipe's had pretty much all of the megas so far. Grunt may have picked up one, but Wolf Snipe definitely taking the majority of the Megas coming out here. And Grunt going to be just missing a lot of shots while Wolf Snipe's hitting. Not much damage, just little chipping damage, but it's stopping Grunt from being able to get in. Wolf Snipe manages to... He's done so much damage that Wolf, uh, Grunt's really not gained anything from that Mega. But I am surprised Grunt was able to pick it up. Incredible resilience from Grunt there. Somehow surviving all of that. I am surprised that he didn't go down there. It may have put Wolf Snipe a little on edge. But it does mean but, uh, Grunt must have a good control over the armors. Because otherwise he must have gone down there. There's no way that he managed to stay up. 5-4 to four the scoreline now, we're about a third of the way through the match. So it's definitely all to play for, and these players both play uh, a little bit more defensively than the generic Xenotic player base, who plays incredibly plus forward aggressively. So we're going to see a lot of spamming, a lot of shots around corners, a lot of damage that comes from not being able to see your opponent. Uh, if that makes sense. So it's coming from grenades being bounced around corners. It's coming from these sort of shots and that sort of thing. It, like he he couldn't see him. He's just hit a bloody air shot. Like that level of prediction, that level of spam. We're looking at uh, quite low accuracy just because the raw number of shots being hit, uh, being fired. Sorry. So both these players. Must be very low. Grunt has a good amount of control over the armors and health right now. Wolf Snipe just isn't able to get anything but the little scraps that run around the edge of the map. Grunt picking that up there. Wolf Snipe not able to counter it with any damage. I think Wolf Snipe's still at 2 megas, which he was at 2 megas at, well, 1.5 minutes. And Grunt's had every single one since pretty much on lock. Just round and round and round and round. Oh, 
beautiful shot there from Wolf Snipe. He's managing to connect a lot of these, doing a lot of damage. Grunt's going to push in quite low health, and he goes down. Six to four now. Wolf Snipe should be able to pick up some control out of this. He's going to head over towards the Mega. Not sure when that's next up. We hit the five minute mark now. Wolf Snipe plants a beautiful direct rocket onto Grunt to finish him off. Figures out where he spawned. You can often hear it, but sometimes if someone spawns very quickly, does an instant respawn, you don't hear it over the sound of the last little bit of fire that you're f shooting off. Not sure if your opponent's died. Wolf Snipe's able to tag multiple frags together. This is going really well for him. He's picked up another mega health. He played that downtime where he was out of control impeccably. And now he's got the control. And look at the damage that he's able to put out. But it looks like he's playing aggressively, but this isn't aggressively. This is honestly uh, quite passive for what we'd normally expect to see in Xenotic. Goes for a couple of little movement tricks there. Not quite sure why he was trying that. You can pretty much get just as fast by uh, just running through that teleporter if you really need to. Or doing the blaster shot on the other side. But it didn't harm him. So that's fine. Can't pick up that item. So he might be leaving that to Grunt. But no, that seems to have actually just baited Grunt into being taken out. Again, going for that little movement trick. It can be useful. But right now he's not got such a lead that it's impossible for Grunt to come back. But what we did see is while Grunt had that advantage, that, uh, that armor, that health, complete control over the map. Wolf Snipe was absolutely cowering in a corner. But he cowered in a corner in such a way that he didn't lose too many frags. And then as soon as he got that back, boom, look at this. Instantly it's up on the scoreboard. Nice shot there again. Oh, there shot. And again, hitting those shots when you just can't see your opponent. Wolf Snipe quite low here though. But Grunt, I can't imagine, has too much health either since Wolf Snipe has been at all of the armors. Bad position to stand up there. You have to look at a few different places that you can't quite keep your crosshair on all of them. Now Wolf Snipe back into that defensive rhythm. We saw it before, but that's beautiful. 117 damage. Crack it out of the can. Grunt goes in for a bit too much of an aggressive play. Not quite sure what the plan was on that one. That's another time that Wolf Snipe's been able to punish this location. Hopefully he doesn't get it there. No, he's in the wrong position. Off from Mega. If you can punish that location, you can do really well out of it. And with Xenotic's pretty much set respawn points, you can often just predict exactly where your opponent's going to come from. Can, you can see Wolf Snipe has a great bit of control over this map, and he knows, knows where everything is coming from. Oh, and there, just curving that rocket round the corner... You see, that's that's the thing that really sets Xenotic apart for me with the rockets. The the map knowledge you need to be able to pull off these shots. Wolf Snipe's gone for a massacre, which is quite incredible considering that that's uh, that's ten frags, and when he had five frags, it was five to four. And Grunt was completely in control. Grunt had every item, every power up, all of the things around the map, and Wolf Snipes managed to turn that around into 10 frags quite quickly. I think with the one minute to go, Grunt is now just going to push very aggressively. He's possibly realised that it's a bit of a lost cause. But it's been a valiant effort. Grunt has definitely put up a hell of a fight. Hopefully we see a little bit more of that. It's not too much time for tactics to come out, long-term tactics. It's really just pick the items that you can. Last cycle's up now. And see what you can do with it. Haven't seen much action in the teleporter room here, though. 
would have expected a little bit more action around there, but there we are. Even running out of ammo, which is such a rare thing in Zenotic, to run out of ammo in this game, you have to be alive for quite a while and not pick anything up. But that is GG. Wolfstrap takes it, 15-4, to four, very valiant effort from Grunt, but just couldn't get the frags while he had the control, and Wolfsnipe played out of control absolutely beautifully. Thank you very much for watching. Please do send in demos if you've got them. Watch the rest of these. We're going to have a grand finals at some point. Check the link in the description for when everything is going to be happening. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Ta-ra!